All right, guys, gonna cover the uh, Joseph Arples kit. I put a picture up earlier today online discussing the uh, uh, some pretty tools and whatnot for today. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cover these kits. People have got some questions about what the differences are between the kit that's currently offered right now in England and across uh, Europe and the new kits that are coming out for the 2020 year. And I've got a little announcement about the early um, kits that are supposed to be out, or the first 20 that are supposed to come out here pretty soon. Um, let me double check my feed, as I always do. It drives you guys crazy. i got to make sure that i got a good feed. You guys can hear me. And then I will quickly go through everything. Give me one second. Can everybody hear me okay? You guys have any sound, any audio? Can you hear at all? Alright, so it appears as if you guys have got, you can hear everything. Uh, I've got to set it, there we go, now I can actually see the comments. Um, again, God, there's, of course there's going to be a delay, as always with Facebook. Alright, so let's real quick, we're going to cover the kit that's currently being sold in England, which is going to be in this beautiful maroon box. You can see there's the gold lettering on there. It's an absolutely fantastic um kit. It's like a leatherette type feel, the outside of the box. It's very, very, very classy. Uh, you'd open that kit up. So these are the kits that are being sold currently in England and throughout Europe. Um, these kits will come to the States pretty soon. Um, I've been kind of quiet about Joseph Marples. I've been setting up the distribution chain and everything here in this, this country um, in Canada. We're getting all that set up so that um, you could buy this stuff in the States. This isn't currently available here without paying to have it brought over from England. So you've got here is a little brief history of the Joseph Marples Company. It's a very old company. It was founded in the 1840s. Um, it's the, arguably the oldest tool manufacturer in single ownership still in the UK. Um, beautiful history behind the company. As you can see here, some of their older tools there, braces. They made all kinds of really pretty stuff back in the day. So, you see this is a little little finger hole here to pick this guy up. It protects the tools that are in here. And this is the kit. Again, this is the kit that would be available in, uh, in Europe, in England, right? Start off with this guy. We'll work our way around. You have a brass face. These are all trial one, by the way. Trial one is the mark. Trial one is the mark for Joseph Barples to indicate that it is the highest end that they have available. Absolutely spectacular, beautiful, beautiful tools. Uh, very, very traditional English. You got your nice straight knurling, the nut on here, nice straight knurl on the nut. Turn it, slide back and forth. The these are rosewood. These are rosewood. The um, the new kits will also be a type of rosewood, uh, Santos, which is absolutely spectacular. You'll see it in a second. Beautiful stuff. Uh, but these are the these are the ro regular rosewood. These are, I think, East Indian, if I remember correctly, uh, from my conversation with Tony, and brass. So, like I said, very traditional, very weighty. Guys, if you, if you haven't held one of these things, ask Norman Kendall. They weigh a lot. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If you guys have uh, any questions, by the way, during this, please, I'm going to make this quick since it is kind of late. If you have any questions at all, just ask. I'll have to keep, for some reason, the, the comments keep disappearing, but I'll keep checking the comments every now and again and try to respond to the best I can. So, anyways, the tolerances on these guys are very good. Very, very, very tight. Um, they go 
hand in hand with the old English style of production. Uh, a lot of hand work involved. These are all hand fitted. So super high quality, right? All right. So the, I don't want to act like a moron there. There we go. Now it fits back. So the bevel, you guys have seen uh, recently the Porter and Sons and Union bevels that came out. They were kind of in collaboration with what was going on with the Marples, the Marples bevels. There were some, uh, some things that were adjusted for the 180s. We wanted to make sure they were really high-end, beautiful kits. So the designs kind of went back and forth to get the right design. This is their basic trial one bevel, right, that, that's offered right now in the European market. You'll see the 180 bevel in a minute. It's a drastic difference, much more beautiful. But these are, again, user tools. Um, Tony Marples has, has stated to uh, myself and others that he would prefer to see his tools used in the workplace. These are not designed to go on a shelf. He doesn't want them on shelves. He wants them to be seen and used by craftsmen. The tolerances on these blades, I've checked them, five ten thousandths. From here to here, five ten thousandths. I mean, it's spectacular, spectacular uh, tolerances kept to make these good working tools. They operate smooth, very tight. Everything locks well. Right, you've got the big square that comes in the kits. This big guy here, blued blade, rosewood. You got your inlays that are in here, brass inlays with your, your rivets. Again, trial one mark, guys. When you're looking at these tools, you're looking at Joseph Marple stuff, always look for that trial one mark. That tells you that that is a quality tool, as you can see there. It's one of my favorite things in here. It's absolutely beautiful. It's going to be your miter square. Set up your miter joints, set up your, your corners, your edges, all that fun stuff. Again, trial one mark right there. Trial one mark. This is a, uh, to quote Tony, you need all this stuff to be a joiner. You need all this stuff to do joinery. You also need a knife. So he just kind of tossed this one in. This just goes in the kit. It's just a simple straight knife. It is one-sided. It's going to be a right hand. It comes in the kit. I guess most people are right-handed. You could grind it left if you really wanted to. All right. So that's what's being offered in Europe right now. That's what's being offered in Europe. And again, pretty soon, some of these kits will start making their way into North America, into Canada, um, and the U.S. And then eventually the Philippines as things come along. Now these guys, keep in mind guys, these are prototypes, okay? These are the final proof prototypes that I had to sign off on and Tony had to sign off on to uh, finish up the process. So there's going to be some blemishes and stuff like that, but they are prototypes. As you can see here, this is a sticker right now. This will actually all be screen printed on, including um, the Porter and Sons information as well on these kits. That's the, the deal with these. Now these kits, this kit specifically, you'll see that it's been patinaed and polished a little bit. That's not going to be in the final kits. The, uh, the cost to do this would have been prohibitive as far as uh, what the end product was going to be. I wanted to make sure that these tools were affordable. Even though they're a very special and very limited run kit, I wanted to make, the, make sure they were somewhat affordable. So we had to eliminate this. You'll end up getting a blued, which is in this box here. You'll end up getting a, a blued blade like the other kits. So going back, you do get this wood box. This is a beach box, solid beach box, presentation box. These are CNC cut foam inserts. They are designed to present what's here. And again, even though these are special kits, they're very limited run. Tony still wants them to be used. He wants to see these on workbenches. He wants to get pictures back from you guys once these kits are out and see that he's the, that his tools are actually being used. That's the way his family's always always done it. So now the special components here on the Trial One 180 kits, they've been coined the 180s or the 180 kits, is these medallions are one thing, right? 
If you look at the square, the, the two squares that are in here, you're going to see round brass rivets with the steel rivets in the middle. That was traditional. That was back early on in the company's history. And you, you probably can't see those very well. I'm looking at my video here. You probably can't see. If you look in close here, can you get in there so they can see that? So you can see those are really tight, really well put in rivets there. And then the medallion right here is also part of the part of the of the kit or of the 180 kits only. So these are very limited run for these, right? You still have your brass faces. This is still a brass face over here. And this is Santos Rosewood, which if you can't see it in person, this stuff is beautiful, spectacular. Absolutely, absolutely top notch. You look at these, nice and polished face on here. Again, trial one, top of the line. Of course, he's gonna polish everything out. You got your trial one mark here. If you'll notice, there's no screen printing on these guys like there is on the other kit. They're actually engraved. So this is a permanent mark inside the medallion. It's all engraved, okay? So, again, absolute top of the line. Spectacular kits here. And they they are, by the way, on oldhandtool.com. The pre-orders are up there. I'll go over in a second as to what's going on as far as the delivery and all that stuff. Uh, you got the same marking knife. This one's not strapped in like the other kit. It just sets into its little house there. The bevels were, I guess if you want to call it, piece, piece de resistance for me. It was uh, the one thing in the kit that I really wanted to see change. And boy, did Tony hit, just hit it right out of the park. Absolutely perfect. This is engraved in here. It's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. You've got... The nut is flush in the back or, or, or flat on the back. Just well thought out, beautiful inlay work in here. As you can see, the rosewood goes through and then it peeks out the other side and just fits really tight. That's tough to do. If you guys don't make tools or you haven't tried to do this before, this is ridiculously hard to get done and get done right. So it's a look as good as it does. And again, these are prototypes. So if they're banged up, it's no big deal. Imagine if these are prototypes, what the uh, the finals are going to look like when the actual kits arrive. Uh, same thing with this. Again, you got your medallion that's on there. You got those traditional round inset retainers for the for the rivets there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You, you really, honestly. It, it would be you'd be hard pressed to find a better quality modern made kit than this. Joseph Marples, I like to call them the Lee Nielsen of the English tool community. They make the top end tools. The only thing is they don't come with a Lee Nielsen price tag. They're very very reasonably priced. These kits, and they're limited to less than a hundred kits being produced. Period. In the, in the states in North America, um, are three twenty five. That includes shipping within the continental U.S. and Canada. So, and these are big kits. I mean, my hand's big. You, you're talking about... Can you back out a little bit so you can see the tape on this? Um, you're talking about what, 17 inches by 11 inches? A very large size box that's here. So, and that's being shipped out to you free of charge with the purchase of the kit. So your, your shipping is included in the purchase of the kit. All right, so that's the one that's the only, only one of this one. This one, the uh, the finish on the blades is different than the other ones. So I'll slide this over and let you take a look at the blades. Here you've got the bluing, the blued blades, blued here as well. Those are how they're gonna come. So the way you see this kit right here is how you would get the kit when you order the uh, 180 kits they'll come just like this there's no major differences uh the box is a little deeper and this is a little bit a little bit different up here and again this will be screen printed with information from joseph marples and uh, from porter and sons so it's the same stuff i went over on the other one absolutely gorgeous tools uh santos rosewood 
and it's the same. Again, uh, here, take a look. These medallions, guys, these medallions are absolutely spectacular. Can you zoom in for real good on there? Look at that medallion. It, it's it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Again, Tony, Tony Marples really did his family justice on these kits. All right, so that covers these kits. Now, go ahead and tell you what's going on. So the first 20 kits are due to arrive on U.S. soil, hopefully right before Christmas. Uh, I've spoken with Tony. We've discussed trying to get these, uh, these kits available to you guys prior to Christmas if we can. I would love to get them to you so they'd be under the, underneath the Christmas tree. That's only first, the first 20. So there is room on the list there. Go on to oldhandtool.com. Um, just try to type in trial one. And you, the kits will show up. You pay for them. The shipping is included. Continental U.S. and Canada. Now, if you're over in England, uh, that's not going to be included. It's, it's, that's quite pricey. And over in the Philippines, we'll figure something out for you. But for... For uh, the U.S. and Canada, kits are ready to rock and roll. You can buy them now. The first 20 guys that buy the kits will get the first round. Um, and again, hopefully they'll get they'll be to you before Christmas. We're trying for that. There's no guarantees, but it's better than January 1st. I have to wait until January 1st. So that's the Marple stuff. Again, guys, oldhandtool.com. I'll put a post up later on with the information. Oldhandtool.com uh, under the Trial 1 kits. Get yours reserved. There's less than 100 of these suckers being made. And at 325 if you break them down by the tool, these kits are a bargain. Especially since they're a limited run. I mean, Stanley's idea of a limited run is it's limited to how many people actually buy one. Right? So they can make 10,000. 100 kits. Most manufacturers will not do a run of 100. It could cost them too much in setup. This is a combination of about a year's work between Porter and Sons and Joseph Marples to get these kits to you. There's literally almost 12 months worth of work involved in these and two trips to England. So I did the, uh, I did the best I could. I got them, I got them to you. I wanted, I wanted these to be in the States. Once I saw them, I fell in love. Figured you guys would want them. Now, real quick, gonna go over. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot to check. I forgot to check the comments here. Uh, so, Brent, the reason that they're screen printed and not lasered is to keep the cost down. Um, Tony was willing to laser them. He was willing to do a lot of things to them, and I stopped him because the kits were starting to climb into the five and $600 range. And I want them to be affordable. I, I really desperately want them to be affordable. This is the first time that I'm aware of where a super, super, super short run has been that affordable. So I'm just trying to do my best to get everybody taken care of. Yeah, no, I'm not complaining about the true trips to, to England. I, I did enjoy myself, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, anyways, so these boxes are tough to open for the guys that bought these. They're, they're designed that way. I don't want them to pop and open anything. All right, this is how... You would get a Porter and Son 1609 bevel. There's your, uh, there's your label. Top label. This is how you would get it when it came to you. There's nine on this table that are available for sale. You got your certificate of authenticity, signature on there with the serial number. You got your little care instructions, of course. Got to know how to take care of your bevel. This bevel is the Peruvian Rosewood, which, guys, it looks like ebony. I, I kid you not. It looks like ebony, but it is Peruvian Rosewood. 
It's very dark, but it looks like ebony. And these these are, let me close it up and I'll show you. The thing that seems to blow everybody's mind is they almost look like they're inlaid. That's how tight. There's 5,000 tolerance between that blade and the outside all the way down. 5,000 total tolerance in that blade. I don't like it when they uh, when they when they flop around on the inside there. So I made it nice and tight. But the uh, the nuts are unique. The nuts are unique to um, Porter and Sons and Union. They come in a box. This is a, a plywood insert that's been laser engraved, marked as a as a custom series bevel, 1609. This one's serial number 17. Serial number number 17. So, these are 125. Since you didn't buy them on the pre-order, the pre-orders were 85 to 100, roughly thereabouts, uh, depending on what was chosen. So, these are 125 as they sit, all of them. Uh, all various woods. All high-end exotics, they're 125. If you if you want any of these, if you see one you like, feel free to message me, and I'll get you taken care of. Get you an invoice. Get you taken care of. All right, I'll open up the next one. Again, these boxes are are tight. They're designed that way so they don't flop open, and they will actually have when they come to you, they'll actually have a seal on them. They I left them unsealed so that I can open them up and show them. Again, these boxes are tight. When I did the uh, inserts, I, I did them that way so that nothing popped open. Again, same thing. Got it covered up. Uh, this one is a curly maple. Serial number 15. Now, some of the higher serial numbers have already sold. So, uh, guys ask for specific serial numbers. So if you see a random assortment of serial numbers, that's why. So this one again, this one's maple, quilted maple. Is the can you see the chantoyance? Can you see it moving around? This? Yeah. Nice, beautiful. Uh, not quilted maple, but uh, uh, flame maple there. Again, all everything's custom custom fitted. All this stuff's custom fitted. Or, or hand fitted, sorry, not custom fitted, hand fitted. These things do have a lifetime warranty. If something happens on them, get a hold of me. It'll either get fixed or replaced. The days of that are, 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 are back. They're not over, they're back. Did I uh, announce the serial number on that one? Yeah, I did. I did good. I need to announce it in each one of them. All right. This one is Sapili. Number 19. It's Sapili. Again, you still get the Chantoyance, even with Sapili, which is a mahogany substitute, right? A viable mahogany substitute. This one happens to be a little shinier. I was trying out different finishes, and I ended up choosing a flatter finish. So this is the only one that's got this super, super shiny um, uh, platform in there, the insert. So number 19 is Sapili. You guys are interested in the Sapili one? Feel free to reach out. Again, these are all 125, which is only slightly higher than the uh, the pre-order amount. Let's see what we got here. This one would be Paduk number 14. Again, the reason the numbers are jumping around in the serial numbers is. Some guys requested specific numbers, uh, like 23, and uh, for whatever reason, their house number or whatever whatever they chose. This one's going to be uh, Paduk. This stuff is absolutely spectacular. Absolutely beautiful. I love the Paduk. It's like a, a fiery red-orange. Absolutely beautiful stuff. So number 14 is Paduk. Again, if you're interested in it, uh, reach out to me, message me.
Moving on to the next one. If I'm boring you guys, let me know. And I'll uh, go to bed. <laughs> it's late. All right. There are, I think, a total of four between the uh, 609s and 1609s that are marked second. They're actually marked second. They were second quality. They do not come with a warranty. They are also available for a lot less. So, certificates marked second. Inserts marked second. Box marked second. And at the very bottom down there, I don't know if you can see that, babe. Can you uh, get in there? Are you able to see it? The bottom of the bevel is actually marked second as well. This is a second quality. It's basically your bargain, right? The problem with this one, if you look at the front of this, this is boxwood, by the way. If you look at the front of this, it looks perfect. You look at the back, there's burn through. This is layered. Uh, it's layers of uh, veneer. And I went with a darker veneer underneath it so that when I lasered, you should be able to see it a little better. But the darker veneer came through on the bottom. And it looks bad. So it's a blemish. The bevel works perfectly fine, but it is blemished. So these come. They're a lot less expensive. But there is absolutely no warranty whatsoever. That's your downside. And it's serial number 20. So serial number 20 is boxwood. Almost there for the guys that I'm putting to sleep. At least Brent's uh, entertaining you guys. All right, this is actually one of my one of my more favorite ones that are here. Uh, so number 13 is lacewood. It, it's crazy looking. It's really, 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 really cool looking. Lacewood. You can't beat that with a stick. That is just the coolest stuff ever. And again, these are these are finished with orange oil and wax. Uh, that's how they ship. They ship with orange oil and wax. And that's how you're going to protect them effectively. Just keep waxing them. Keep the uh, keep the wood moist with wax and orange oil. Um, Howard's, by the way, this stuff, perfect stuff. If you want to keep it up, this will keep your warranty no issue. So, number 13, Lacewood. It is Lacewood. So again, the guys, what I'm showing here, what I'm showing here is all available. These are the ones that are available. These are the ones that were left over from the first run. For the collectors out there, the boxes will be sealed. So, a lot of guys out there just don't want to open the box. You can do that. Uh, let me know, though, if you're going to collect it and you need to know what the material is inside of it. I can mark the bottom of the box before it goes out. Just you got to let me know when you reach out to me, though. All right. This guy is Winge. Or Winge, as some people call it. It's Winge. Beautiful stuff, very freaking expensive, and a pain in the butt to work with, but it's in there. And it looks beautiful. It's like a, a zebra-y uh, ebony almost. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is serial number 12. Serial number 12 is the Winge. And for guys out there that know wood, you know this stuff was expensive to buy. Because you can't just buy a little sliver of it. They make you pay. When you want that stuff, they make you pay for it, which is always fun. But that's okay. That gives me uh, exotic woods for more tools coming down the road. Coming down the pipe. Uh, which brings me to the next thing we'll talk about in just a second. All right. All right. This one is actually out of all these. My absolute favorite it is absolutely my favorite by a mile. And it's because of this right here. It's just a swirl right there in the, in the grain. It's insane. It comes down and just kind of swirls around kind of like a, like a hurricane right there in the corner. 
This one is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. It does it on the back side as well. I had to lose a lot of wood to get that specific section out. But it was, a, it was well worth it. Absolutely well worth it. Uh, so cereal number 16. And this is uh, Coco Bolo. We'll call it like the we'll call it Hurricane Coco Bolo. That's what that is. Hurricane Coco Bolo. <laughs> if you're from the from the south or from Florida, you know all about that Hurricane Coco Bolo. So cereal number sixteen, Hurricane Coco Bolo. Again, just for clarification, they're one twenty five, lifetime warranty. The uh, boxwood, oops, or second is less. Now, another one of my favorites. I have three in here that I would probably just keep. <laughs> you, you fall in love with these things. They become your children. Uh, serial number 18. This is um, Maple Burl. See on both sides? The, the back sides. Look at this. Look at the eyes in there. Absolutely beautiful. Maple Burl. On serial number 18. All right. Now, quickly go over a couple of things, and it's time for everybody to go off to bed. Some of us sleep once in a while. I, I'm not very good at it, but I do it sometimes. Let's see here. Union is about to release a new tool. It's going to be a square, a precision square. I'm going to do my absolute best to get it within five ten thousandths of perfectly 90 degrees. Um, it'll obviously be to the inside. So say your, your, uh, your blades here. Obviously, this isn't the, the entire head, but say your blades here. It'll be within five ten thousandths of 90 degrees here oh. and five ten thousandths of 90 degrees here. I won't be able to guarantee that on the back side, obviously, because wood moves, guys. Um, the inside of this, of this square will have a brass wear plate here. And the beam, I didn't cheap out on the beam. I made sure that I went with the, the best quality I could, and I ordered 01 tool steel for the beam. So... Best metal. They're going to be precision squares. They'll be available pretty soon. Um, and the wood for the handle is going to be iron wood. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Iron wood, some hard crap. And it's absolutely gorgeous. See if you can get in on that grain. It's gorgeous stuff. This one I think is going to end up being mine. I love that right there. That sap wood and mixed with that grain. I, I might actually keep that that section for myself. It's absolutely freaking gorgeous. So that's what's going on with Union Next. Uh, we're getting everything straightened out and organized to be able to do the X0A. It is in, it is in its initial stages. Um, we will be making some more announcements here pretty soon as to what's going on with that specifically. But for now, that's all it for tonight. Guys, make sure you go on oldhandtool.com and get your kits ordered. Get your kits ordered. You're paying for them now. The minute they get the minute they get here, they're going to get boxes sent right back out to you. So as soon as I have them, they will be boxed and they will be on their way to you within probably 24 hours, depending on when they get here. So, and again, the first 20 we're hoping to have to you before Christmas. Hoping. Um, and then the rest of the other 80, well, less than 80, will be coming out in uh, January, the so January 1st. I did manage to get Tony to allow us to cut loose at least the first 20. All right, guys, have a great night, and we will chat soon.